back to my channel. I am about to head to the gym. I'm going to a strength workout, a body pump class. I go twice a week and I always really look forward to it. It's like my little power mama session with myself. And on the mornings that I'm gonna be washing my hair, I've been applying this hair oil. It's like a scalp oil. It's a rosemary one and I just let it sit for the duration of my workout or if I do it when I'm not working out I will do it in the morning when I get up with Nelia and then when Mo is with her and I can wash my hair is when I will then wash it out but I really really love it and I thought I would share it with you guys because it's a very simple thing to add into your routine so I start with this front portion and then I do the back and this is the scalp oil it's from amazon rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil i will have it linked it smells really good too also i don't know if you guys can tell but my eyes are so swollen i am still figuring out what happened but i'm pretty sure it's from a new eye cream that i tried obviously it does not agree with my skin i had to put a little bit of concealer on because i am really red both on the bottom and on the top concealer sort of hides the redness but i'm still very puffy anyway so i brush the oil through my hair with this brush i love this brush so much it feels so good on your hair and i just do a little parting i'm gonna take this brush which is a little bit more fine and i will just slick the hair back So I'm going to let that sit during my workout and then I will come home and wash it out. Okay, it is a little bit later. The Dyson curls are so intense when you first do them. The more intense and curled they are initially, the better they will last. And now it's been probably two hours since I curled my hair, maybe two and a half hours. And you can see the hair is nice and soft, has like a nice little wave to it. It is a little extra investment of time, but your hair looks good for pretty much the entire wash cycle. So I wash my hair twice a week, even though it doesn't stay this wavy it still looks nice because it's like that brushed out kind of blowout look from the salon you can still brush through it add a little hair serum or hair oil just refresh it a little bit and it still looks nice so for me it's worth it and I've actually been using that time as I'm doing my hair to listen to an audiobook and be really efficient with that time as a mom you just have to squeeze in those little pockets of time so I'm currently listening to two books the first is one of my all-time favorites. I read it back in 2019. It is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I would say this book is life-changing. Over 25 million copies have been sold and it's over 30 years old. So this is a true classic. It is a new year right now. It's also winter and I love to consume content and books and podcasts that are uplifting and inspirational. When I read that book initially, it inspired me so much and it gave me so many tangible, useful, 
tools to apply in my life and right now I'm at a very different stage. I'm a mom now, I have a skincare brand, I like to brush up on content that I know is going to be useful in my life. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is incredible. You are guaranteed to learn something useful. And the second book I've been listening to is How to Talk So Little Kids Will Listen. This book is about gentle parenting. It's another classic that is so popular in the parenting world. Nalia is now a year and a half old and she is reaching the stage where she is really getting willful. She's starting to push boundaries sometimes and see what she's allowed to do, what she's not allowed to do. And the philosophy and the premise of gentle parenting is something that's always just really resonated with me and the way I like to live my life, but I wanna do it in the right way. Like I still want to understand from professionals and from psychologists how to do it correctly. What does the research say? How do kids respond in the best way? So the book really teaches you how to acknowledge your child's feelings, how to work with your child and problem solve with your child and meeting kids where they're at from a point where they're able to understand and actually cooperate and essentially do what it is that they need to do, but not in that scolding or just yelling way and you know having to punish them and all that. Yes, it does take more awareness and patience from the parent's side, but ultimately you're raising a happier kid and hopefully you two will have a much better communication as they grow older and you know eventually they're going to be teenagers well i know that nelly is obviously going to have tantrums and things are not always perfect but finding a positive way to approach these situations and having these really good examples to refer to is just so golden so i would highly highly recommend this book it's again how to talk so little kids will listen another amazing parenting book that i see here in my library is hunt gather parent i listened to that back in the fall and that was also incredible if you guys want to listen to either of these audible titles for free or any other title on audible you can visit my link audible.com forward slash annie jaffrey and from there you can download any audible title for free audible is kindly working with me and sponsoring this portion of the video which is so exciting i'm genuinely such a huge fan i listen to audible multiple times per week and i have a pretty extensive library i'll have a few of my other favorite titles right here but audible has has an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries, motivation, wellness, business audiobooks and as an audible member you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog so from bestsellers to new releases and i love the audible app it's flexible across all devices you can take it with you anywhere you go i use this when i'm doing chores around the house when i'm folding laundry cooking especially as a busy person i just love it again you can visit audible.com forward slash annie jaffrey pick any audible title you like and you can start listening to it right away as we're in here i want to express my joy for this super clean couch we had it professionally cleaned yesterday i did film a little bit of the process and also what it looked like before some close-up shots i'll put them in here so you guys can see up close what the couch look like and crazy enough the stains are from water mostly from Nalia's water bottle and also from us just trying to get the stains out manually by hand and it was so frustrating not being able to get the stains out so we needed a professional and he did such an incredible job he also said regardless if you have actual stains on the couch furniture just generally gets dusty over time this couch is now three years old and it's the first time that we got it cleaned and yeah you can definitely see this crazy before and after when he was cleaning it that difference in color is absolutely insane so this is what our couch looks like now all of the big stains are gone and he did the entire couch so all the pillows the back side of the couch there was only one little spot this one right here i don't know if you guys can see that on camera but this is actually a burn the texture of this fabric is different mo tried to go in with the steamer that we have for our floors and i think the temperature was a bit too high but other than that all of the big stains are gone and it's truly the most amazing feeling we had been wanting to fix this for so long and yeah we just needed a professional to really help us 
but to prevent this from happening again, I ordered these from Amazon. These are couch covers that have an anti-slip backing and actually really like the fabric. It's so nice and cozy and the color is beautiful too. So I hope they fit. Okay, the covers are on and I don't think they look too bad, right? I'm really happy with the color. It looks very similar to our couch. And because it's so easy to take it on and off, I really don't mind washing them every couple weeks. Obviously the dimensions are not perfect, but I think it you know, does the job. Yeah, pretty great solution if you also have kids, maybe you have a dog, and you also are into like the light white beige interiors then this could be something that might be really helpful to you as well. So I'll have it linked down below in the description box. I love things that save me time and help set me up for success. So lately I've been preparing these lemon ginger wellness shots and freezing them in ice cube trays and just popping out one each day to have with some warm water. We are in the middle of winter right now and I love doing things like this to support my immune system, to keep me feeling strong and energized. Plus I find these really incredible for my skin health too, which is always a very big motivation. Motivator. So I've been peeling and then juicing the ginger. You could also use a blender, but since I only do this like every one to two weeks, I really don't mind getting out the juicer and cleaning it. And it of course gets the most juice out of the ginger. And then I've been pressing the lemons with this citrus press. I find this does such a great job of getting all the juice out. And lemons are of course such a great source of vitamin C, which is actually the precursor for collagen production, which is again why I think it just makes your skin look so beautiful. And we can actually store vitamin C very well in our body. So it's really important to get a good amount consistently throughout the day. And conveniently, vitamin C is present in pretty much all fruits and veggies. But of course, lemons are a really great concentrated source. So here I've got my lemon ginger juice and now I'm going to pour it into an ice cube tray. You could also use a larger mold like this and make them into true shots. But I like these smaller traditional sizes because then you can really customize the amount that you want and these silicone ones are great because you can just pop them out really easily and that's it you just put them in the freezer and you can enjoy these over the next few weeks and it saves so much time I also have a tray here of pure lemon juice that I made the other week. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to just pop it out into some warm water. It will melt within a few seconds and you have the quickest lemon water ever. You can also pop these into a water bottle throughout the day and have it cool. If it's hot outside, this is also super refreshing.
thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed i will have everything that i mentioned and talked about recipes i will have everything down below for you in the description box in case you guys are interested in anything update on this couch cover it's amazing i'm surprised we didn't get something like this sooner because it really is so convenient the only thing is that it does move around a little bit even with that anti-slip like it's not that perfect like exact cover of the couch it's not terrible but it's just you know from sitting getting up like nally obviously running around on the couch but it's not too bad it's just something that i want to mention but it's so cozy especially that fabric like this sherpa teddy fabric it's so good also on a different note i feel like i'm starting to finally get a hang of styling the bangs i restyled them this morning and they are laying so much nicer and i used the dyson on the front pieces too so before i was using the round brush as you guys saw earlier in this video i find that that is a hit or miss sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but with the dyson it does seem to do a pretty nice job like with the bangs yeah just a little update because if you have bangs or if you have just gotten them it is a learning process on how to style them and just care for them during the day because i don't like for the hair to be like in my face all day i need it to be back but yeah finding that balance is what i'm going for right now and i will share it once i really really figure it out but i think I think I got it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Again, make sure to check down below for links, recipes, my audiobooks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.